What is going on YouTube? My name is Firefist Nova and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. If you are enjoying the series so far, go ahead and hit that like button down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And we are having a giveaway at 250 subscribers. If you are not aware already, I will go ahead and leave a link to the video uh, describing that down in the des description. But for now, let's go ahead and continue our adventure. I guess we could start off with a quick party recap. So we have our boy Shuriken at level 21, Fred at level 24, Zuko at level 22, Scrum at level 20, Happy at level 12, and Tress Leches at uh, level 11. Uh, these last two are mostly fodder in case I gotta sack someone off. Honestly, I'm not feeling Scrum too much. He's, the only reason he's still around is because he's a starter. I wouldn't mind replacing him with Tauros, to be honest, but we're just gonna rock out what we have. Uh, I kind of realized last episode that my Pokemon are getting kind of high leveled and I don't want the game to continue to be a challenge so what I'm going to do is try to skip some trainers if I can and hopefully that balances some things out. So yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Guys starting off with the Murkrow, because yeah, this guy's like level 17. One of my weaker Pokemon, which is Starmie, is level 21. This is getting to be a little bit much. We're getting too many levels. Next time I do uh, a randomizer, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the levels so everyone that I battle is like 15% higher level than they normally are, I think that will definitely increase the challenge. Okay, again, pulling out a Raichu, so we're going to go on to Fred. But yeah, I'm hyped for today, we're going to have a chance to get some more encounters, which is always exciting. And we're probably going to tackle the SSN today as well. I gotta say though, I'm very happy with our team so far. We have a pretty balanced team, and things are looking pretty okay for us right now. We don't have anything overpowering, we don't have any like legendaries or anything like that, but we have a very solid team. Alright, let's see what TM we get. This is traditionally Dig. Uh, hopefully it's something good. Our TMs have been mostly trash, except for like Drill Peck. So let's see what it is. 28. Oh, it's still Dig. Oh, I guess because it's a field item, it stays the same. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Dig's a decent TM. So let's go ahead and get an encounter down here. Uh, we'll go ahead and put Scrum in the front for that. Do we have Pokeballs? We should. Yep, 14. That's plenty. Alright, what's it gonna be? What's our encounter? Please be good. A Teddy Ursa! That's not bad at all. Uh, I like Ursaring. Ursaring's a strong, hard-hitting Pokemon, so... Yeah, I can, I can get on board with this. If anything ever happens to Scrum or Tauros, Teddy Ursa is probably going to be on the team. Okay, I just like getting nice, usable Pokemon. As long as it's not complete garbage, I'm happy. Getting the ball. First try, hopefully. Yeah! Oh boy, here comes the difficult part. Nicknames, man. I'm so terrible at nicknames. Before food becomes scarce in wintertime, its habits is to hoard food in many hidden locations. Hmm. We're gonna call you Yogi, because I lack all sense of originality. A yogi it is. Nice. Nice encounter. The baiting wish should leave someone here at the daycare so they can level up over time, but... I'm just going to skip out on that for now, because we're doing really good on levels. And we have the Lucky Egg. I think that's another big... Okay, this person wants to trade a Raikou for a Houndoom. No, bro. If I have a Raikou, I'm keeping the Raikou. Absolutely not. You're out of your mind, bro. I would love a Mewtwo. Can I give up my Sunflora for a Mewtwo, please? That's the trade I'm looking for. Imagine, bro. Imagine if we get lucky enough to find a trade like that. Who knows, maybe we will. Alright, time for another encounter. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Ampharos, oh boy, yes, we have a... Do we have an electric type on the team yet? I don't think we do. Oh, that's perfect. You are, you are getting on the team for sure. I, I want this. Oh, it's another thick Pokemon too. And like I said, the bulkier Pokemon usually tend to last longer in Nuzlocke's because they can take hits. Yeah, Ampharos is a great Pokemon. It hits hard and it can take hits, so this is literally perfect. 
Oh, I'm very happy with this capture. Hopefully Scrum doesn't hit it with a critical hit. Yeah, this is definitely going to be our fifth team member if we catch it. And I believe in this generation you can paralyze electric types, so we're going to go ahead and try to para it. Very nice. One, two, three. Oh, close, 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 close. I don't want to risk hitting it again and having it die, so... We have enough Pokeballs to chance it, so might as well. Nice! Nice. We've, getting, we've been getting very, very lucky with these captures, and I am grateful for that. Oh my god, nicknames. I'm so bad at these. Uh, uh, I'm just going to throw together a bunch of letters. I hope something makes sense. Lem. Lemouf. Lemouf. Or we're going to be French. It's our boy Lemouf. I guess that's the best I could do, man. Like, <laughs> if I can't think of anything good, I'm just gonna just throw together a bunch of little letters, throw in a couple of vowels here and there, and hope for the best. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip trainers because we're over leveled a little bit. Uh, Looks like Ampharos was a common encounter here. And then these last two battles, I think you actually have to battle them, so. Zuko, you can go ahead and get some levels. I would let Scrum battle and get some levels, but he's already paralyzed, so. Bro, I'm so happy about that Ampharos. It's a nice Pokemon. Let's see if I can skip them. Alright, I have to battle one of them. Yeah, skip five, skip like five trainers here. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. But we'll see. Quick attack. Yeah, we need to hit KO this thing. So, funny thing, uh, for me as a kid growing up, whenever I saw a Poliwag, that red thing on its face, I always assumed it was its nose. I found out later it was its mouth, so... I wonder if anyone else thought that, or if it was just me. Let me know down below if you ever thought it was the nose or the mouth. But I feel like I might be alone in that regard. I wonder when Zuko learns Flame Wheel, that's gonna be really nice. Because, yeah, Ember's not that strong of a move, and we're getting through the 20s, and we're going to start fighting higher level Pokemon. Be nice to get some better moves on this thing. Honestly, maybe I should teach Dig to Scrum so he has a better move than freaking Scratch. Yeah, he can learn it. If only he was a ground type, but he's rock. I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm just worried he's gonna die and it'd be worth be for all for nothing. If I have to sacrifice anyone on like the main team, it's gonna be Scrum, man. He just doesn't hold up to the rest of the team. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and add, add Ampharos, our boy Limuf, because I actually wanna train this thing up. We have like five decent party members and then a fourth, a sixth member we can sacrifice if we don't want them. So I'm actually gonna sacrifice some Flora if I have to sacrifice something because I don't really see myself using this on Flora. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and train up the Ampharos. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and catch a few more Pokemon in the area. We get a fishing rod next door, which we can use to get uh, an encounter in Vermilion City. Then I believe there's one more route. Uh, to the right of Vermilion City, and there's Diglett's Cave. So today's kind of episode, we're getting a bunch of encounters, and then we're gonna hit the head up the SS Anne. I like episodes like this, just going around catching Pokemon. It's nice. Alright, what are we gonna get? Oh, you might just switch over to Scrum. Actually, whatever I catch here is going to be low level, so maybe Lemouf is better. 
Because it knows Thunder Wave as well. Come on, let's catch something. Alright, what's it gonna be? A Volbeat. Ugh! Trash Pokemon. My first instinct is just to run away. Alright, if you can live this tackle, I'll catch you. Alright! You live the tackle. And you got paralyzed by static. That's nice. Okay. Don't take more than three Pokeballs. If it takes more than three Pokeballs, you're not worth it. Okay. 100% Volbeat's gonna be a new sacrifice mon, because I'm never gonna use this thing. Boy, I already know your name. I don't even have to think about it. It's our boy fodder because you are death fodder is what you are nice okay so we have Sunflora and Volby as our two death fodder fodder Pokemon it's kind of sad to think about but you know what that's just how it goes sometimes man all right let's put scrum back in the front we'll get an encounter in Dickless cave after this route What's it gonna be? A love disc. Oh my god, we are getting trash after trash. Ooh. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. But, you know, it's okay. At least we'll get them in this early part of the game while we have a decent team. So later in the game, we can run to higher level Pokemon. Hopefully, we get something decent instead. Uh, dupes claws and species claws is a thing. So, because I caught. I love disc right now, I don't have to catch one later if I run into it. I have the option to run away and find something else. Which is why in a Nuzlocke it's important to catch every single Pokemon that you find. Just for that reason alone. Let's say if I run this love disc and then I need a Pokemon later in the game around Victory Road and I get another love disc, I'm forced to capture it because I didn't catch it earlier. Oh my god. You are going to be... Garbo. Oh boy, young Garbo. He's in the box. Alright. Diglett's Cape. Oh, wow, that guy sniped me from up there. Let's go, but don't cheat, bro. I don't need to cheat. Let's go. Ooh, this boy's a Gyarados. I wouldn't mind a Gyarados. Can I get a Gyarados? Oh, no. Absolutely not. I feel like Gyarados doesn't know any water type attacks at level 21, so I'm gonna risk it with Scrum. Oh my god, Scrum, you are pathetic, bro. <coughs> Not doing any damage. I want to use Lemouf, because I know electric type attacks are four times effective, but I don't know if he can handle getting hit by Gyarados. Let's try it out. Lemouf's a thick boy. He can handle it. Oh god. Oh god. I was wrong. He went to Thrash. If he kept on using Bite, it would have been fine because Bite is special in this generation, but yeah, that was bad. That was bad news bears. We just have to go into our boy Fred, clean things up instead. Yeah, get wrecked, man. Honestly, because since he got paralyzed, if we hit him with a Thundershock, it might have done a good amount of damage, but I don't think it would have been a one hit KO. But he got paralyzed twice. Nice. Yeah, Ampharos is going to be a very good addition to our team. I'm really looking forward to leveling him up. Bro, paralyzed three turns in a row. Let's go. Hit him with the drill pack. Hey, and another crit. Very nice, Fred. Very nice. Oh, I'm happy about that. Okay, so... Scrum took some damage, but I think we can still catch something. Yeah, we can still catch something. Let's do it. This is probably the last encounter for today. I mean, we got a bunch of encounters today. We got like five encounters. What's it gonna be? <laughs> oh, yes! This is one of the best things that could have gone. I'm glad that I didn't teach Dig the Scrum because this is gonna be so much better on this Groudon. Alright, so first things first, Stun Spore, Ancient Power, oh no, super effective. 
We lost our starter, guys. We lost our starter. We have to make sure that it's worth it, though. We gotta make sure it's worth it. We gotta try to catch this thing. Oh my god, Scrum just got obliterated. Alright, first off, let's set up the Reflects. Oh man, I hope he doesn't get an Ancient Power boost. So Ancient Power has a chance to raise every single one of Groudon's stats up to, by like 1.5 multiplier. Oh my god, I can't believe that's happened. Alright, if I hit him with Razor Leaf, he might die because it's super effective and have a chance of a crit. I'm just gonna go for the Drill Peck. Oh man, I really wish that Stun Spore landed. That would have been so helpful. Because he would have been paralyzed. Because now the only status ailment I can inflict is Poison Powder, which will kill it over time. I can't use Thunder Wave. Oh, he got the boost. He got the Multiplier boost. That's not good. That's not good. I can't use Thunder Wave on uh, my Ampharos just because it's a ground type and it's not going to affect it. Oh, see, look, we hardly do any damage now. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to heal. And because his defenses have gone up, I can go ahead and try to hit it with a uh, hit it with a razor leaf, and hopefully we don't crit. Because if we crit, it goes through its defenses, its buff defenses. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! We have a potential chance to get a ground on. Hopefully, it doesn't kill any more team members. We're gonna go for the razor leaf. Here. He outspeeds us too. He's fast. I mean, though we're six levels ahead of him. Keeps de oh, he's decreasing our speed with Mudshot, that's why. Come on, man, come on, come on. Oh, that was close. That was so close. Okay, so the Reflect wore off. We need to set that up again so we don't die. I think we can hit it with the Drill Peck one more time. Right, set up the Reflect. Maybe heal again. Actually, I'm gonna hit with the Drill Peck first. I'm gonna hit with the Drill Peck first. Okay, cool. Keep using Scary Face. It does no damage to me. I'm fine with that. Hopefully this Drill Pack doesn't kill. Okay, it doesn't. Bro, if we catch this Groudon, I'm gonna be so freaking happy. Alright, alright, alright. Super Potion. Okay. Man, I really, really wish we that Stun Spore got off. Oh, bro, Scrum. You died, but I don't want to be in vain, man. I want to catch a really good replacement. I mean, I have one Ultra Ball. Oh my god, I wish I had more Pokeballs. I didn't think I'd run into a Groudon, though. That would be Shake! That would be Shake once! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I think we have one more turn for Reflect. Before I have to set up another one. Yeah, if I set up Poison Powder on this thing, it's, it's we're not going to catch it. One. Ooh, one shake, one shake, one shake. Man, I really wish I had Great Balls. We could probably actually get Great Balls here in Vermilion City, too. Alright, Reflect is gone. So let's go ahead and set up another one so he doesn't kill us. Good thing Fred is bulky, man. Alright. Yeah, we're at minus six speed. Amazing. throw another Pokeball. Seven more chances to catch this thing. One. Come on, man. Come on. Don't do this to me. Alright, let me look one more time. Let me look to see if there's anything I can do. Drill pack. Uh, there's nothing, there's no status elements we can inflict on it. Just have to keep throwing balls and hope for the best. Oh, come on, man. Please let me catch this thing. I'll be so happy. One, two, three. Yes! Yes! Oh, that feels so good. That feels so good. Yeah, that's our boy Terra. 100%. Can't think of a better name than that. <laughs> the best encounter we've gotten in this game so far. Oh, that was some heat, bro.
We lost Scrum in the process, but I'll be honest with you, I don't really care. I know he's our starter, I'm supposed to care, but we got a freaking grout. Oh, oh, sped up. We got a freaking grout on, man. Dude, I don't have time for you. Get out of here. I want to go to the PC and look at my grout on. Oh shit, Reggie Ice. Oh god, why, why does this keep happening to me? Zuko, please knock this thing out. Ember. Icy Wind. Ember. Yes, yes. No more explosions, man. Don't freaking kill us. And shove it. And Scrum. I had a feeling you were going to die eventually. I was hoping to make you last till the end of the game because you're a starter, but it happens, man. It happens. I'm just glad your replacement Pokemon is freaking amazing. I still can't believe it, man. Still can't believe we got a freaking Groudon. Got our first legendary. Now I don't have to panic every time someone pulls up a Mewtwo on me. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this. We got Trash. We got Garbo and Fodder. And then we got this bad boy right here. Get on the team, my guy. Sadly, Scrum, my dude, our starter. Get to deposit you in the death box. And then we need more fodder. So, fodder or garbo? Yeah. We'll take fodder. So, we got two more Pokemon we can use to sacrificial bait. Alright, let's look at this thing, man. I saw that he was holding a TM, so let's see what that is. TM7. Sky Uppercut, that is an amazing move. And almost everyone can learn it, that's pretty good. Uh, who would need a fighting type move? Um, maybe Zuko, who can use it against rock types. Shuriken? Shuriken doesn't have really physical attack though. Lemuf? I mean, I guess I can use it against normal types. There's a lot of those. I don't know. But let's take a look at Terra. Oh, you are so nice. You are so nice to have Mudshot, Scary Face, Ancient Power. Yeah, you don't have a whole lot of variation for your moves right now, but you learn a lot of good stuff later on. Honestly, all you really need is Mudshot. Okay, since Terra's already level 19, I'm going to go ahead and prioritize Lemuf. We're going to go ahead and level this thing up. I went ahead and skipped a bunch of trainers, so hopefully things balance out. I skipped all the trainers on the route north of Vermilion and to the route to the right. I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is to balance it out. I'll battle the trainers on the SSN, just to level up uh, Lemuf and Terra. Gross is nice. I'm very happy with uh, what we've got. Can't believe it, bro. We got a freaking legendary already. And it's a type we don't have, it's a ground type. Like, our team is very balanced. We have an electric type, grass type, ground, water psychic, and fire. Like, I love it. Oh, yeah, this is looking real good. Yeah, bro. Let me on the SSN. Still in shock. Yeah, so we'll go, we'll, we'll go ahead, battle a bunch of people, get the items, because SSN is very nice in terms of like having a bunch of items. Level 18 Weedle. Maybe I should have bought some potions before this, but I think we can lead the ship. For alligator, nice, it's a good experience. Give me that experience. Bro, we got almost three, four levels from that one battle. Love it. 
Okay, so this is where our room is if we need to heal. Nice. So we don't have to leave the ship. Right. <laughs> you insolent pup, how dare you barge in. It makes you wonder though, because in these Pokemon games you just go into random people's houses all the time and stuff uninvited, so like, that's actually a pretty normal response if you think about it. Oh yeah, this Ampharos is gonna be a nice... Oh my god, two levels just like that. It levels up so fast, I love it. Yeah, everyone's levels are around 19-ish, so maybe we're not. That means the gym's gonna be around the mid-20s, probably. I mean, guess that's where we're at right now, so... Keep the train going. Oh, three battles in here. Tropius. Look, it's a less, it's a shittier version of our uh, Bayleaf. All right, so it goes. Burn this boy. Gotta yeah, learn Flame Wheel soon, man. All right, who's next? The Gyarados. Look at this. Watch. One hit KO, maybe? Alright. Ooh. I think we'll die to another Thrash, so let's be safe, shall we? Let's throw pick this boy. Oh, I didn't see what it was. Shuckle? Not a threat. Not a threat at all. Oh my god, sky high defense. Uh, let's just switch off to Shuriken because it's super effective. TM46. What's that going to be? That's another reason why I want to battle trainers on the SSN, just because we'll be able to get more TMs, which we desperately need. Submission. Decent, another decent fighting type move. I'll wait till we get all of our TMs on this ship before we make any decisions. Uh, let's heal up here. I think I'll do take a look at the last cabin on this area and then I'm gonna call, wrap it up here for the episode. Oh, do you not want to battle? Okay, I guess that's it then for today. Alright guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this is a very entertaining episode for you. We got a bunch of encounters today, and the peak of it all being that Groudon. I am very excited to see how uh, things go from here on out. Uh, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.